Good morning, Oakfield Elementary. Please stand for the pledge. Our pledger for today is Lydia Fleury. Take it away, Lydia. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Lydia, for doing the pledge today. I encourage more fifth graders to get involved with the pledge as you're wrapping up your elementary school career. That is something you don't get to do at the middle school, high school level. So I would love to see more fifth graders submitting videos doing the pledge. And if you have siblings, have them do it with you too. All right, today is Monday, April 6, 2020. Uh, celebrating a birthday today, Killian Chekolinski and Chloe Wino. Happy birthday, guys. I hope your guest teachers are doing something special for you today. Speaking of guest teachers, welcome back. You have a four-day week this week, guest teachers. Um, so you will be getting new learning plans today because it is our trunk pickup drop-off time. So if you have any questions as you're going through the new materials, make sure that you reach out to the teachers that the materials are from, and they're more than happy to help you. But even more importantly, think about how you can expand your classroom to get outdoors today and tomorrow especially, as there's beautiful weather ahead. And I know that's something that students always dream of when the weather's really nice, like, oh, if we could just go outside and do our lessons. Well, now with virtual school, you can. So get outside and do those lessons. Our special guest for our announcements today, the first one comes to you from Mrs. Larson, our fifth grade teacher. Check out her video. Good morning, guys. Ms. Larson here at school. Getting some stuff for some digital learning. Definitely not the same without you. Hope you're having a wonderful day, and I'll see you later. Miss you all. Thank you, Mrs. Larson. You're right, it is sad to look around our classrooms and see how empty they are right now. Today I'm back at school because of trunk pickup drop off and it's just very different being in the school when the kids aren't around and uh, where classrooms aren't set up the way they typically are. So thank you for showing them that the classroom's still there and we can't wait to welcome them back in the month of May. All right, our next guest is Mrs. Borak, and she's coming us to coming to us from her home office on her porch. Take it away, Mrs. Borak. Hi, Oakfield Elementary. It's great to see all of you. I miss you. I've been thinking about you just here working outside and enjoying the birds and enjoying the, the sunshine. So I hope that you're able to do that too at home and get outside and even if you take some of your work work outside and do some reading and do some of your homework outside too, you know, could do that. But thinking about you, hopefully that you're having that growth mindset and, and hopefully we'll be able to see you soon. See ya. Thank you, Mrs. Borak. And yes, Take some advice from her and get outside today and tomorrow and set up your classroom if you can on a blanket on the grass or maybe a table that you can move out there. Be creative and snap a picture of your outside classroom and send it in to myself or take us on Facebook. We would love to see your outside classrooms. Our shout outs today. The first one goes to Mrs. Larson's class. Shout out to the fifth graders for showing up for our virtual book clubs. They've been doing book clubs online, so nice job, fifth grade. And our second shout out goes to Mrs. Zilke. In our first eight days of remote learning, these students have completed reading and math I ready lessons every day. Uh, congratulations to Callie Breister, Ian Bai, Heidi Doring, Renee Hall, Amelia Schwinn, Connor Tyner, and Jackson Weber. Outstanding job. And that's a challenge to the rest of you to make sure that you are getting on to iReady every learning day, reading and math. So take some time to do that. It should only take you 15, 20 minutes a subject. You can do it anytime during the day, but get on and do some lessons. Our Oak Pride 
We do not have a virtual spirit week this week. I'm going to bring that back next week, but I have a challenge to you. I would like you to write a letter to someone, either in a card or a letter or create something and mail it. That's a good practice of putting an address on an envelope, learning where the stamp goes, the return address label, and then mailing it. It could go to a relative. It could go to a special friend, maybe one of your classmates, maybe a teacher. You could mail those to school and we would put those in their mailboxes. But I want you to write a letter this week and maybe write a couple of them. Let me know who you write to. That's an awesome activity to let people know you're thinking of them during this time when we can't all be together. All right, I looking at my announcements, the last thing is just making sure parents that you are stopping in for trunk pickup drop off today from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. And if you can't make your designated time, that's okay. Come anytime during that time. Just please be patient as we are new to the system and you'll just need to wait in the parked car line and we'll keep moving people forward as we're able to bring materials out. So I better let you go because you need to get your envelopes packed up and ready to return to school. That's that's all I have for announcements today. Let's make it a marvelous Monday and I'll see you guys soon.